Uh, I do still need to go back out towards Risen's place and uh, out towards that Mesa biome and explore. And I really want to find some of that dark oak wood. Uh, hey, Exit. What's up, man? Welcome back. So, yes. Okay, so I'm going to head over to... Luckily, Gorley, it's... it's Actually, you know what? I'm just thinking about it now that uh, once you get that blaze farm up and going, it's going to be very convenient for me. Considering it's not very far from my base at all. Yeah. And it's pretty much going to be like a glass farm almost also with that sand right there if anybody wants it. Oh, this is true. Huh. Uh, I, I did a little sand farming earlier. Was it today? Yeah, earlier today. And um, I think I have about uh, 20 stacks of glass now. Wow. Um, which is, that's not going to be anywhere near. Oh, yeah. That's not going to be anywhere near en enough to, to do. I think Risen's heading your way as well. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not going to be anywhere near enough to, to cover my whole base. Yeah, because isn't your base like 100 by 100 or something? I, I don't even know how big it is. Um, and I, I kind of want to be even more, like, super ridiculous and cover the spots that it's not even snowing on so it doesn't rain. Because they're supposed to be a desert. But, um, hmm. that's an awful lot of glass. That's probably more glass than there is sand in that desert. We're going to have to find, that desert is getting uh, awfully bare. Yes. So we're going to have to find a, probably a new desert pretty soon to destroy. There he is. Okay, I'm here. Risen's here too. He's, oh, prob okay. he's probably one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, WTF is going on here, <laughs> pretty much. So, do you want to try to explain it? I would like to hear this just for comedic value. Of no, no, because <laughs> I, I don't have any... I <laughs> so dog, such redstone. Um, yes, I, I honestly have zero idea what's going on here other than the little that you explained it to me before. Okay, so do let's... Do with the, the mine carts down there, moving them over to a crushing area or something? Yeah, let's... I'll try and do this. Okay. Um, this is not my design. It's Impulse SV and Daniel Coots and... Who is the other one? It's basically the Zip Crowd crew. Yep. Uh, worked on this. So pretty much this... These pistons um, right here have pressure plates on the other side, and when a blaze steps on it, it mm -hmm. pops an item back and forth between the two hoppers. And uh, when it does that, the piston on the other side just keeps going in and out, and it oh. doesn't do damage to it because there's no I there's no block attached mm -hmm. to their side. So basically, it just pushes them off down to this one by one down here. Yep. And there's just minecart with hoppers, and it will just push it all the way around here and bring it. Eventually, hey, my minecart is stuck. Oops. Eventually to this, uh, sorry, this lava trap. Yep. And as the lava goes up, it just pushes them over to a one by one, and then it will uh -huh. pipe them all the way up. Once it gets to the top, it will drop them, just push them a little bit more onto, this is what I changed as... I wanted to do it with a weighted pressure plate. Uh huh. So. Oh right, because see because, it up here. Yeah, because weighted pressure plates have changed now. They actually work correctly. I don't have glass and I don't have a pickaxe, but basically it pushes them right here. It pushes them over, uh -huh. and then there's a weighted pressure plate. Once it gets so many, I still need to mess with it. Yep. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is a dropper will drop a splash potion of uh, damaging. Mm-hmm. After it crushes them. So oh. it will take them down a certain amount and it will crush them. So you, you'll you be able to do the F3P trick. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know about that. But no, you can, I, I don't know F3P. Um, basically, instead of hitting like escape or alt tab, mm -hmm. it no longer pauses your game. Um, oh. your, your guy still interacts. So if you switch your use button to like space mm -hmm. and you hold down space and you hit alt tab, yep. it will always think that you're pressing the use button as fast as you can. Interesting. Um, sorry, I look at you. So you'll be able to use that item as soon as it drops on you. So it will crush them, drop that item on you, you'll throw it, it will kill them, pick mm -hmm. up all the, the blaze um, rods, and then right now I have it to where it won't collect the experience, um, but that can be an easy change with just a 
F slab or something along those lines. Interesting. Huh. Um, so pretty much if we make enough potions, we would be able to set a player up here for 24 hours or more. Oh, man. Um, the only thing is I'd only want to test it about an hour or two at a time because if it fails, we could be sitting with two, 300 plays in here. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. Um, that we don't, we don't want anything else lagging the server. I mean, 172 lags the server enough. Yeah. Um, so pretty much like what I want to do, I had this one all set up over here. Um, pretty much just the dirt needs to be busted out because there's a dirt block in every single spot that blaze can spawn. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but we have another blaze spawner right over here. Yep. And if you stand right where this pressure plate is, you're mm -hmm. active for both. And then, um, where they drop in, they're out of range of both spawners. Ah, so hopefully it'll be wow. able to turn out a little bit faster. That's, that's insane. That's so, this, th this whole area is just insane. Yeah. I can't wait to get done with this so I can actually like build a proper base, but yeah, first, yeah exactly. First I'm building another tree maybe. So what, wait, what, what? Dude, Christmas is coming. Everyone needs a Christmas tree. Oh God. Not, not a big Christmas tree. Maybe like 30 blocks high or a hundred. <laughs> 30 or a hundred. Well, oh. the original tree was only supposed to be 100, and we see how that turns. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we should aim for 30 this time, and it'll probably come in, you know, around 90 or so. Yeah. Jeez. Is there a reason for the one random cactus here? Uh, Yeah, I use cactus to pick up the the carts. Oh, right, 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 right. So I just started growing it. Jeez. Bust. Yikes. Yeah, 256 or bust. Um, so pretty much just been working on this. This is pretty nuts. I wouldn't have the patience for this. This is why I don't do redstone. Especially stuff like this. The first one wasn't so bad. It's the second one that's going to kill me. Uh, Why? Why is, it, why, is, why is that any different? It looks like it's pretty done to me. Because now I have to figure out how to get this tube into the other tube. And also, I've done it once, and I just want to be done. Yeah, you know, right. so I think that's what's going to kill me. It is do you, I, I would say say at least get the first one one hundred percent up and running before you mess with the second one, just so you can get something running. Because blaze rods are definitely something that would be nice to have. Yeah, but then if I get that up and running totally, then when I connect all this together, I'm going to have to keep tearing stuff apart. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Uh, I guess it's kind of a and Blaze isn't as easy to disable, you know? Yeah. Oh, no, this is true. This, yeah, that's... I didn't really think about that. The other, Anything else, you can just throw a torch on it. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, Blaze are kind of a pain. That's why I've never messed with Blaze in any way. I've never, on any server or in any world that I've been in, have... I've never had, like, a stockpile of Blaze rods. Really? Yeah, never. Just because I've never had any reason to. And blades are pain in the ass. So that's the other reason I haven't. Hmm. Nobody seems to really be around tonight. Oh, Parker's in, in general chat. Yeah, they're doing like a game night thing. I don't know what they're oh, playing or what God. they're doing. They're, they're, doing uh, they're doing a Warhammer 40k um, tabletop. Okay. So that's what they are doing. That's what, well, I'm surprised any Warners isn't in there then. They actually invited me to to do that but uh it's kind of like you got to be there every week kind of thing uh-huh and if you can't commit to every single week they they really didn't want to have it. so i was like i i would like to but i can't 100 percent commit to every single week especially if i'm going to start streaming more mm -hmm. so yeah i so how are they doing a, a tabletop via the internet um probably I, i'm not 100 percent sure maybe google hangouts so they can, you know, actually have, like, webcams. Okay. See, that would be the one, the thing that would make sense to me. I'm hearing blazes spawn anyway around here. Oh, yeah, there is... Especially right up the top, right near the entrance. Which entrance? The entrance to your madness. Like, right yeah, here. There's probably blaze right above, because we're still in a fortress, so they're still spawning all yeah, around this here. Yeah, this is true. Um, oh yeah, there, there's another walkway down this way, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Viewer list update. Okay. Exit. Do you want to see you, since you missed the first part of the stream, I'm going to go back and show you... I'm, okay, so, yeah, th thanks for the little... Oh, I don't want to go through there. Thanks for the little semi-tutorial -tutor there, Corley. Um, yeah, I... It, redstone's still beyond me. But I'm going to head back to my base and uh, take another look at the storage room. And maybe maybe I'll talk about what I have actually have planned. I guess it shouldn't be... I shouldn't be so secretive, being that not many people watch me. I'm not, not going to, you know, have any cliffhangers as to, oh my god, what's he going to do in the center part? Oh, it, it's not really that, it's not really that spectacular. Um, I actually, it was something I did in the last storage room I had, um, which was kind of a, a mining storage room back on the last map that I used, um, that I, it was kind of a, a thing that I liked. It, uh, it it draws in my... Man, Riz, having some issues there, seems like. Uh, it, it kind of pulls on my love of putting water in everything possible. Which, if you've seen any of my builds ever, or my current base, you n will know that, yeah, I, I love putting water into builds. Especially into storage rooms. Gor Gorley, do you remember my original... Uh, rack storage room in my first base. Oh, I remember it had the uh, like invader. It was logo at the entrance. No, that was oh the that was my the mind. One that you, the uh, the one with the water. Wait, I remember everyone was looking for the the dragon. It was the one in yeah, it. Yeah, it was the one that it was the one that people were looking yeah. for the dragon. Or like all the um, chests were basically like kind of like looked like they were floating in water. Um, it kind of draws on that, but it more draws on the last storage room that I did in my little uh, mineshaft base. And what it is, and I'll go over here and Exit can get a look at the storage room. And yes, again, I, I changed the corner here. I, w I went with a 90 degree angle instead of the curve because the ceiling and the floor just kind of didn't work out right in the styling. I like the 90 degree more. Yeah, yeah, it, the 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 curve kind of looked weird because there's there's really no other curves anywhere in here. So, it it just it and I managed to I didn't even plan this out. I did not plan this out one bit, but everything with the styling and the spacing worked out exact. So I think that's a sign that it was the right thing to do. So anyway, yes. So this is my storage room. Welcome to the people that haven't seen it yet, and this is what's going to look like here on the wall. Uh, do I have more item frames that I can pop up there on the wall? I have eight more. So let me pop these here real quick. And here and here. Oh, hmm. Well, looks like I just skipped the one. That's that's kind of kind of strange. Anyway, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do in the center? So the, like I said, the, the the whole ceiling is going to be the smooth sandstone. So it's a nice smooth color and texture on the ceiling. The sides are all going to be like this. The floor is, is at least for now, going to be a mix of spruce wood and stone slabs. I almost didn't want to bring stone slabs into it because I don't really use them anywhere else in my base. But I think the combination just looks way too good together. And then in the very center, uh, Gorley, you might remember this if you can remember my, st my small storage room from my mineshaft base is in the very center there's kind of a sheet of water that comes down from the floor to the, from the ceiling to the floor and let's see is that the very center of the room yeah so i'm going to demonstrate really quickly how i'm going to catch it uh it's basically going to be in something like this and uh you know there'll be in there'll be an end on, the, on either side this isn't going to be the, the final size of it either um, oh, well, I huh. guess I shouldn't have done that. But basically, it's going to be like one of these things. And then there'll be the same design on the... I think I worked it out. It's going to come out to here, and it's going to go over to here. So line up on the inside of those. And the same design as this is going to be on the ceiling. And the center in here is going to be glowstone down here and up there. And there's just going to be a sheet of water coming down that's going to kind of bisect the room. Mm -hmm. and I wasn't sure how it was going to look in a room this size, but when I did it in creative mode, it came out really good. 
So, and the good thing is that even even though it completely bisects the room, oh, excuse me, even though it completely bisects the room, it's very easy to just kind of, you need to get, if you need to get from one side to the other, you can just kind of run and jump through it because it's a one block thick sheet of water. But, Are you going to have like specific sides then, like four people items and expensive items? Um, or? Kind of, I, I, I kind of started doing that earlier today in creative when I was trying to figure out exactly how many chests I needed. And uh, I got to a point where I thought, I actually thought this room was going to be one set of uh, chests shorter. And then I started putting, you know, stuff in item frames and going around and doing everything. And I thought it was going to be fine. And then there was, there was the stuff that I kind of forgot that all of a sudden didn't have a box, like, you know, mob drops didn't have, didn't have a, a place to go. And there were just like random other stuff, like plants didn't have a place to go. So I increased it so that this will increase it by six chests, by six double chests. And I think that'll be plenty. Plus, if I do more chests here, uh, it'll be, it'll be good. But I think maybe at the, at the very entrance, I'm just going to do, I might just do furnaces. Because I don't have any other, that's the other thing is that I have a big furnace area down in my little outpost in this base, but up in the main base, I don't have any any areas with large amount of furnaces uh, down in my basement. I have six, but if I could do this area and do maybe like eight on each side or something like that, it'll probably help me out when I have stuff to smelt up. The other thing I'm noticing, which I, I remedied by bringing, I did bring more stuff. Yeah, okay. I was running out of coal. I think for the very first time ever in my history of me playing this game is I was running out of coal. Wow. Yeah, which is kind of weird, right? You no, know, you could set up an auto smelter, but I know you don't like automation in your I, storage area. Yeah, uh, yeah, I could set up an auto, auto smelter. Um, you know, I could. I may, may, I could set that up behind the wall, too. But at the same time, here's the other reason why I don't do auto smelters. I like getting, the, I like getting the XP. I like getting the XP. If I can smelt a whole bunch of stuff and get a whole bunch of levels and not have to go to the, you know, to the Ender farm, then that's that's cool. See people like popping in and out of the stream here. I hate that the the chat list doesn't update in Twitch as fast as the viewers do. So it's like sometimes people will still be in the stream and it won't show them there. Sometimes they won't be there and it'll still show them there. All that good stuff. Man, Riz, you, have, you having some connection issues? <laughs> Seems that way. Hmm. What else to do? I, guess, I mean, I guess I could do... Jeez. Wow. Yeah. He must be having issues. Okay. I guess I can do some more. I guess I can finish this, up, this stuff off. Uh, give me some... No, no, no. I want the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I could finish the clay off here. Okay. Do this. This is not the most exciting stream in the world, but... No one said it had to be. Sometimes you just need to get stuff done. And the storage room is something that definitely needs to get done. Because as I keep saying, I am tired, beyond tired, of just having chests scattered all over the place with random crap in it, not knowing where anything is. I had completely forgotten that I had, like, a stack and a half of obsidian in my ender chest for some reason when I was just looking for it the other day. Okay. Do, 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 do. So having everything in one place is going to be so beneficial, not only for my ability to play this game, but for my sanity. I just had to take everything down on this side. Wait, what? The pushing wasn't working out. I got too high too fast. Oh, that sucks. I know, I'm ready just to activate the one. <laughs> like, good. Ah, oh, man, I almost think you should. But I wonder, I wonder what kind of rates you can get off of that thing. Here, 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 here. Oh, crap. Do I have to go to creative and test the redstone first? 
do you have most of it built in creative? No, I have none of it built in creative. Oh god. This is how I play. <laughs> build stuff in creative. Jeez. Yeah, I used to be like that. I used to like never touch creative and then one day I just started and suddenly my building got better. Like, oh, look, actually planning stuff out works. I used to, I don't know, I used to think, when I first started planning, I used to think, like, building creative was kind of cheating. And I used to think it was, would, like, take away from the building experience, but, I don't know. I, I guess as time went on, it just made more sense to me. Mm -hmm. Or something. Uh, I almost think I should do this across here to divide the area. Yeah, you know what, I am going to do that. Because I was worried about about dividing the the sandstone floor from the floor in here, but that'll 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 do nicely. I am going to jump off the server and test a couple of things. Ah, actually, going to jump into creative, huh? I guess I, can... I have some stuff in creative. Uh... Those like goofy videos that I do. Oh right, 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 right. Oh, I, I was wrong. And that's my chiseled sandstone, too. That's that. Blaze is it to level 30. Wait, what? How many blaze do you have to kill to get to level 30? I don't know. That is that is the science of this game that I am not privy to. Is it 79? Asking the wrong person. I get this stuff from down here? No. Crap. Okay. Here, here, there. Oh, while well, I'm up here, let's see if I can get this stuff. Nope. Stupid upside down stairs. You will be the death of me. Okay. Okay, here. Okay, that there. Thank you. All right. Man. Riz is not having a good time. Oh, ah, glowstone. I need glowstone. Bada bing, bada boom. Glowstone. There. Okay, now I can put this stuff in. Okay, now smooth sandstone to finish it off. Oh. Oh. Perfect. Now, do I have more chests? I do not. Making more chests. There we go. Should probably just make them all. Wow, I've, I've pretty much run out of wood already. I'm not even halfway done with the damn storage room. That is sad. Nope, that's wrong. Thank you. Give me that back. Okay. Alrighty. You know, as much as as much work as they've done on the, the lighting engine in this game... There's still, like, little lighting glitches with, like, slabs and upside-down stairs. Kind oh, of, yeah. Kind of bothers me a little bit. I mean, not, 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 like, totally, but, I don't know. I don't notice them. I'm sure most people don't even notice them anymore because they're a lot better than they used to be. But if you're looking at the right angle, especially if you're doing a repeating pattern like this, uh, they kind of stick out a little bit more. There are some, like, weird tricks you can do to get around them. Like, if you put, uh, glowstone behind stairs at the right angle or something like that, it, uh, it doesn't actually shine through, but it does get rid of the lighting glitches. I kind of use that trick a little bit in the nether hub. Not to get rid of lighting glitches specifically, but to shine a little bit of fake light 
through because if you if you notice if you ever notice in the in, in the nether hub um around the base of the staircases it's lit up a little tiny bit and that's because there's actually a piece of glowstone behind the first stair and it doesn't give you any light level but what it does do is visibly light it up kind of a weird quirk and like you were saying before the, the glowstone behind these chests it actually does help out with the light because since we're putting the chest in front of it it's not a full block so it doesn't block the light oh you I just managed to place two stairs in a row the wrong way. What pain. There. You know, I'm really tempted to come and move like one or two items a week in your storage room. Oh, God. You, well, you, mean, you mean like this, the the one random block that I kept placing in your, uh, in your base? Yeah. Yeah, except for I know it would drive you crazy. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, I know that. I, I, I knew it wouldn't bother you. I was just... I was just I would do that at night when I'm bored and there's just nobody else on. I'm just like, eh, here, here's a block. I've done it to but, other, I've done it to other people before too. The one time I was at the slime farm, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I saw this, and a creeper didn't spawn and then later kill me. Because <laughs> you know, all that's like, I think it's light level. It's spawnable, whatever it is. It's low. Oh right, right. And everything else there is slabs, right? Have you seen that lighting glitch there? So goofy. Where? Um, at the ice farm. Oh, yeah. I have indeed. Okay, I'm just, just going to keep... Well, it's kind of a good thing that I have you on the call because now I'm just doing the stupid repeating pattern over and over again in the storage room here. And probably pretty boring otherwise. Probably pretty boring anyway. Oh, it's a lot better than what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> Messing with redstone. It's always the most exciting thing in the world. Well, if you know what you're doing, it's exciting. Not for the viewer, though. I like watching people who know what they're doing. What's... It's fun when it's... I don't really care for watching it like in creative mode, like just people messing around with redstone. That's not really exciting to me. But when they're making like some con some contraption that you're sitting there like, what in the world are they doing? And then all of a sudden it just clicks and you're like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. But actually watching them make, you know, redstone stuff, eh, it's just, I've tried to like even, like even entertaining people like Generic B, like trying to watch him do like redstone stuff is, he. I mean, he's super entertaining and it's still a little hard to watch for me. Mm -hmm. Probably another reason why I'm not really into redstone is that it's just, it's not really entertaining to me. Like, yes, you can autom automate. Well, okay. But I could just walk over. Oh, you son of a bitch. I, I could just walk over here and actually put this in the chest myself. You don't have to. You don't have to, but think about all the time you're spending creating this redstone thing versus the 30 seconds it would take you to walk somewhere okay so you're spending three hours doing this and it's going to and it's going to save you 10 seconds every time whoop a d do that's what i say whoop d freaking do yeah but like stuff at the farm that i have set up that's doing stuff for you without you having to walk over oh, there. You're, okay, well, you, well, yeah, your farm is just is another story. Like stuff like I, I mean, large scale stuff like your farm and the witch farm that Benji set up. That stuff is just nuts. Oh, I forgot to put chests in this first one, and I'm out of chests. Don't know if I want to go larger scale farms. Sure not. Larger scale, like what? I don't know. Bigger? I faster? Why? To do it? Bigger, faster, stronger? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh man. I just I don't know why you would do that because it's those chests are like overflowing as it is. No, but I don't know. I am going to have to 
I, I am going to have to come raid, the, raid the, the ice farm at some point because I have no ice. I literally have no ice. And I want a, that, che I want a, che and I want a chest for ice. Well, you can take pretty much double chest there and nobody would notice. Pretty much. Pretty much. Because, <laughs> um, I mean, you really don't use ice. Like, do any, does anybody really use ice? Benchy used some before the farm. Oh, right. The, um, Jaden should have used some. I don't even know what Jaden's... Do you know what Jaden's doing? No, and it's killing me. He hasn't been on in a while. I gotta see if I can ping him to see... Uh... Oh, Risen loves ice. Yeah, I gotta ping him to see if... Uh, see what he's up to and what he's doing. Oh, I need more sandstone. Of course I need more sandstone. I always need more sandstone. He was gonna get on Sunday, but I just figured something with a kid, probably. Probably. Hi, Frog. Still at it, Frog. Uh, I've only been streaming for like an hour and 20 minutes, man. Hasn't been that long yet. Not like some streamers. There's, there's some guys, man. Uh, I went to see a, a streaming panel while I was at uh, Minecon. And mm -hmm. some of these guys that like do, do like just streaming for a living, these guys stream like eight hours a day. How do they stream for a living? Does Twitch pay out or something? Oh, you, you didn't know that people make money off of Twitch? Well, I figured they do, but like, I didn't, I haven't seen anything. Yeah. You know, I uh, just assumed. So Twitch, uh, when you, you need to be, become a Twitch partner and, um, in order to do that, you have to have something. I don't remember. Oh God. League. No, streams. I don't watch League. No, thank you, Riz. Um, Civilized. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so um, Twitch pays out for – once you become a Twitch partner, you start having control over the ads that run. So you can make money off of that. And also, if you get big enough, you get a subscriber button in mm -hmm. which people can, like, subscribe to your channel. And they get, like, custom emoticons and stuff like that. And uh, it's, like, five bucks a month. And of that five bucks, the streamer gets 250 So it's wow. there's I mean, there's not a ton of money in it unless you do it a lot. And some of these guys, like I said, li oh, I didn't want to do that. Literally stream like eight hours a day. I don't know how they do that. Like, I I really don't know how they do that. But hats off to them for doing it. I'm still looking at streaming maybe two hours a day. And even that seems a little daunting at first. I think Riz, Riz knows some redstone. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Kind of. Oh, son of a crap. Well, that'll make it easier to place that up there. You're getting lag in the stream, Frog? It's, uh, I'm not dropping any frames. Gorley, are, are you getting any lag? Uh, let me actually watch, watch it for a second. Okay. It might Move be. around, I'll be able to tell. Yeah, it, uh. Um. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any lag. Looks fine to me. Getting a little bit. Are you? Not for not very much. Just like a judder every couple seconds, but it's not like a real judder. It's it like... might be. I'm not because I'm not dropping any frames. So uh, actually, you know, give me a second here. I'm gonna look at my settings. Just to see broadcast settings. Uh, no, my encoding's fine. I mean, I can try and drop it down a little bit, but the quality is already not great for recorded. Um, it looks like it's okay for me. Frog, you're actually getting lag? That's strange. My, my streams have always been all right before. Hmm. Strange. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's continue on here. Oh, let me stick some of this in here. Go up there. Come on. You can do it. Oh, nope, that's not where I wanted that at all. Come here. Come here. Yeah, like I said, I'm not... not uh, Dropping any frames. 
which is usually what I look at. Okay, let's see. Let's... Oh boy, you guys gonna work, work together on that? I just, I need to see this now. I've never heard of it. I, I wasn't half paying attention to... Um... Oh, he's got a Crusher design that he wants to show you? Yeah. I just need to come up with some characters. Hmm. Oh, crap. Stupid gravel. Stupid, stupid gravel. There we go. Here. And there. Okay. Get down. Such a repetitive task, but you know what? It needs to be done. Needs to be done. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know how these guys stream for like freaking eight hours a day. I had a lot of fun when I streamed. Streaming is fun, you know, because you get to like interact with people on, in real time. Oh, I hear spiders. They're going to jump on my head. Oh, well, he tried. He missed, but he tried. Now I need more glowstone. Ah, oh, there's some. Give me your XP's. There's another one. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he is. Haha. -ha. You died. Okay. Yeah, how to make a comparator? <laughs> don't ask me, man. I don't think I've ever made Straight one. To Google. I don't think I've ever made one before. That is the only reason that. Oh. There. Quartz. I need to go and collect quartz at some point because I have none. Just <laughs> uh, do I have a fortune pick? I'm, like, almost out of my fortune pick. I need to repair it. Actually, you can't repair fortune three, can you? You can. You can? Okay. Yeah. Uh, not if it has efficiency four and breaking three, though. Yeah, I think mine does, unfortunately. I think maybe maybe even if it just has unbreaking three, which I think is what I think that's what mine has. Um, nice. There is a villager that will sell you... Fortune books, if you want to ensure that you get fortune on a pick. Oh, is there? That is very nice. I have not paid your farm visit in quite a while. I'm get, starting to get down there in tools, though, so I'm probably going to come over sometime soon. I know I have enough emeralds to trade for a, a while. Hmm. Okay. Riz might be able to show you if he stops leaving the game. Okay, give me the stairs, knock out this top row. This might be the first time ever I've been able to build something while talking about something else. Usually I'm completely unable to do that. That's one of the reasons why I stopped doing regular LP episodes. There are some games currently that I am unable to play unless I'm talking now. Really? Yeah, because I talk the whole time, and so I just want to talk whenever I play them. Oh, I gotcha. Um, pretty much Pivot is the main one. Yeah. And that game is so hard. Pivot really is hard. That is a difficult game. I don't think I've played it since right after you started playing it. Every time I go back, I'm like, alright, I'm going to beat it this time. Yeah. And I get really pumped, and like 15 minutes into it, it's just like overwhelming depression. Like, awful at this game. Why do we keep playing? And then I play for about 15 more minutes until I hate the game, then I quit. Nice. Okay, I have two more sections to do, and then all the chests will be done. Wow. I'm actually, this is actually going pretty quickly. Quicker than I thought I was going to. And he's back.
back to listen to us again. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna have no chests. This kind of sucks. Boop, boop. Oh, there's a picture for you. Right. Frog, are you still getting, still getting lag in the stream? I can try and drop my quality down, but my quality's like not even. My quality's oh, like. This isn't a sand. Oh. My quality's at like three thousand, which isn't like that great. In the first place. Um. Holy cow! No. Yeah. Is it crazy? Uh. Yeah, it's bigger than what I wanted. Ah. I think. I think I'm just gonna try and come up with my own thing. You could. Uh. It's pretty much, I want this. Um, crusher to be on mm -hmm. at all times once there's enough. Um, that way, if we do run out of potions, we don't just overload it also. Gotcha. We'll just kill them. Uh, also, Frog, that, that is the first message I've gotten in the chat since you said holy lag. So I'm thinking it might be something with your connection. Um, he says it's my workplace's internet. Sorry for the concern. Yeah, I don't mess with it on my account. Wait, what? In between. He said that. I didn't get any of those. I didn't did not get any of those messages. What is going on? That's oh. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. That's really weird. See if it's coming up in the Twitch chat. Where is the Twitch chat for me? Hmm. I don't know. I normally don't trust the chat on the Twitch website, so I just use the hex chat thing. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I'm I'm watching the Twitch chat. So let's blame that. And if that's having a problem, you, you know what? Twitch, the Twitch website was having a um, problem earlier today. They were updating something, and like half the website wasn't loading, and all the CSS was being all weird and and that kind of stuff. So maybe we just blame that. Oh man, are you kidding me? I'm going to have the perfect amount of. Uh, I guess I can. Just, I'm going to have the perfect amount of chests to finish this. How the, in the world did that work out? Who in the hell knows? Oh, yeah. Frog's on his on his work internet. So, yeah, that's probably it, Frog. Um, probably, what, probably why you're getting lag. Because like I said, I am not dropping any frames. I shouldn't be dropping any frames. I'm freaking playing Minecraft for crying out loud. Oh, it might. No, I was going to say. If I was one short, I was going to be sad. Smooth. Okay, chiseled. And down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, oh, crap. How was I going to do this? No. This is wrong. Oh, no. I'm, I'm fine. Don't mind me. I'm just losing my mind a little bit here. Whatever of it I actually have. Okay. Here. I'd be so mad if I was risen. I know. Oh, he's dealing with it. Whatever's going on there kind of sucks. Okay, let's finish this here. And here. Boop and a boop. Okay, let's finish this room up. Glowstone. Okay. Boop it boop. Boop it boop. Boop it boop. And the chests. Perfect amount somehow. I don't know how. Still. Do I have any extra wood? That is the question. No, I used I used every single last piece of wood that I went and got, and I don't have enough item frames. I have enough item frames for like ha not even half the room. 
Man, item frames are expensive. But uh, every single chest is up. Yay. So I got something accomplished at least. But uh, yeah. I thought, you know what? I actually honestly thought this was going to take longer than it did. Hmm. So I think I'm going to stop the stream for now because I got the task accomplished that I wanted to. Yay, we did it. Yay. Although, I don't know if I want to. That looks kind of weird. So let me see if I can change this. There's always the one-off areas that look a little odd. And just replace this. There we go. I don't remember exactly how I had it in my creative world. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, why don't I do the floor? So I have the outline down here of where this is going to be. So this is going to come up to here. And then on this side, it's going to come up to here. Alrighty. I need some food. Eat, 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 potatoes. I think I need another torch over here. There. All right. So that is the final design for, well, I guess not 100% final design for the storage room, but pretty much what it's going to look like. All the chests are now up and in place. Just like I said, crazy extravagant, much larger than it needs to be, just for a simple storage room. Especially for one that has no automation whatsoever, and it's just a bunch of boxes on the walls. But I really like how it turned out. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to have a nice little water sheet coming down here in the center, and the floor is going to be tiled with stone slabs and spruce wood, possibly switching over to dark oak once we get some. But like I said, I think I'm going to end the stream for there. So, Gorley, thanks for hanging out. Yep. Thank you for. Attempting to explain your crazy contraption over there as well. Still don't understand it, but... It's like, I, I understand the concept of those kind of things, but not really the practice of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Thank you guys for watching, and for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much, and remember, if you want to catch these live, come subscribe to my Twitch channel. Link is in the description of the video, so... Until next time, I'm Eternal Beta. I will see you guys later.